gas leak turns deadly when the house explodes, killing the couple who lived inside. Good evening. I'm Melissa Fry. I'm Rob McCartney. We're learning new details about the fire that we first reported on First News. Call came in just after 10 Wednesday night after reports of a loud boom on Olive Street in Atlantic, Iowa. KATV News Watch Evans Kyle Gravelin spoke to the family's friends and is here live. Kyle? Yeah, and this evening we know the names of the two victims. Atlantic Fire Department saying 57 year old Paul McDaniel died at the scene. His wife, 57 year old Denise McDaniel, was transported to Nebraska Medical Center, but she passed away this morning. Family friends I caught up with earlier today say they're both shocked and saddened. Charred framing, a blown out window, pieces of glass scattered everywhere. The aftermath of an explosion and fire at a house near East 7th and Olive Streets in Atlantic Wednesday night. Major fire and smoke to start with, but the conditions were also extremely cold, so we had it was stressful all around. The Atlantic Fire Department fighting flames and a frigid winter chill, trying to rescue the man and woman trapped inside. Well, actually, we did two search and rescue attacks, one through the back um, because the fire was out here. Crews were able to reach 57-year-old Denise McDaniel and her husband, 57-year-old Paul McDaniel, but both died from their injuries. Fire Chief Mark McNeese says a broken gas pipe leaked gas into the home. They're still working to determine what ignited that gas. Went up in through the vents and then went up into the second story as well. So it was kind of a, a tunnel and funnel up through there. Denise and Paul, well known in town, especially for their taxi service. John Schinker remembers Denise extending a helping hand when he moved to Atlantic in 1997. Well, when I first moved here, you know, I virtually had a shirt and shorts on my back. And, you know, she helped me out, you know, a couple rides here and there. That was nearly 18 years ago. And Schinker says they've been friends ever since. Scott Jensen grew up next to the McDaniels. He says the tragic news spread across town quickly. Absolutely. Anytime something like this is just tragic, you know, tragic to the community and everybody involved in the communities. McNeese says both victims were found on the home's second floor. The speed and intensity of the fire left them with no escape. I don't know what they could have done on this one. That, that There just wasn't any time on this. Atlantic Fire Chief Mark McNeese telling me earlier today that clothes hanging from the gas pipe in the McDaniels basement caused that pipe to break. The Iowa State Fire Marshal's office is also assisting in this investigation. McNeese also saying a pilot light from a gas stove in the kitchen is, quote, highly likely to be the source of ignition, but that has yet to be confirmed. Melissa? Kyle Gravelin reporting live. Thank you.